everyone, so this video review is called Sway by Shah Defoe. If you want to check out my review, I have just posted that. So if you're on YouTube, there's a link in the description below. And if you're on my blog, there is a link within the post. So, Sway by Shah Defoe. Um, wow, this was steamy. Um, but I really, really loved it. Um, Kinsley dreams of dancing as part of Sway. And she's, she's a ballet dancer, so she's determined to live her dreams. Um, without her religious mother stopping her because Sway is a bit more erotic dancing and a little bit more um, It's a little bit more of a show than ballet and uh, She gets lucky in an audition and suddenly she's transported into this uh, erotic and vibrant lesbian community and discovers so much about herself along the way um, What was fantastic about this is it was slightly erotic It had a lovely steamy edge mixed with a young woman. That's Kinsley who is coming to terms with how she might be sexually orientated. And I, I loved that exploration. It's, it's throughout the story, it's there at every angle, and it's it's there in every aspect of her life, through the dancing, through the people she's meeting, through how she's taking care of herself, it's everywhere. And she's joining this family at Sway, and she's really thrust directly into a variety of opportunities, both professionally, but also on a very intimate level. And it's all leading to this self-discovery for her. So every character she interacted with, uh, you know, they represented something different. They were quirky. Um, and it created such versatile and vibrant characters that Shah could um, explore uh, every angle that Kinsley might want to explore um, in her newfound self-discovery. And everyone's representative. And that's what I love about Shah's stories. Everyone's always represented. She always approaches stories from this angle because there's something to discover, something to learn, not just for Kinsley, but for you as the reader. There's just so much to discover. Um, and so Kinsley's naivety um, of the world and her lack of experience outside living at home meant she encountered lots of anxiety and scary situations that I was so glad she had these people around her to help support her. Um, she handled them all really, really well, though. Um, she handled them better than some people would have done. And she embraced every moment while remaining true to herself. She never let that slip. She didn't sell out. She didn't get manipulated or be used. And that could have happened so easily because of her naivety of the world. That, that really could have happened to her. Um, she could have been... Um, exploited terribly because it was quite an exploitive situation really these people knew that she didn't really have any of this worldly experience but that's the beauty of it they were all such lovely kind people there was nothing for her to worry about nobody was going to do that to her once she had become part of this family she was part of this family and they were loyal and protective and they really cared about their own and uh, it was truly admirable and it was wonderful um, it was a wonderful world that she joined and it was very vibrant and so exciting um, to be with her on this journey. With every chapter she grew and it was just great to know her so intimately. Um, so another fantastic story from Shah that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed and I hope you will too. So I'll pop a link in the description so you can grab a copy of Sway, which I really, really hope you will. If you've read Sway, would love to know what you thought of it, so please do comment and share your thoughts. And if you haven't read it yet, but you're planning to read it, it's on you to be read list, so you know, super intrigued and thinking, yeah, I really want to read that. Then again, it would be great to know what you're interested in reading, so please do share. And if you do read it, I hope, I hope you, I hope you learn something. I hope you have lots of fun and I hope you really, really enjoy it because it's a fantastic story. Bye.